This thing cooks! Woo! <laughs> Let's go for a ride! Subscribe today! It's a good thing that I had my gear on when I crash on this scooter because I tell you this C armor jacket came in real handy man I walked out no problems guys I'm telling you regardless if you're riding a motorcycle e-scooter e-bike whatever make sure you're wearing the full gear and I tell you guys this I have links to this C armor jacket my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield gloves boots pants all my gear I include links in the description and comment section of the video finally got the Varla Eagle 1 electric scooter out here for a full review on here put this to the test i've been riding this throughout the day putting it through various tests and by the way um, you can get a discount on this scooter by clicking on a special link in the description and comment section of this video that is exclusive for my viewers i'll tell you it's got two 1000 watt rear hub motors with a peak of 3200 watts um, this weighs about 80 pounds uh, it has dual suspension that you can adjust which i did i felt like the suspension is a bit soft uh, but you can go ahead and take a spanner wrench or just get like a pipe wrench that's what i did and uh tighten the suspension the front and rear up a bit um i love that it has a wider deck it even comes with changeable grip tape there uh, another thing that's really unique to this e-scooter is that it has dual chargers here you can put two chargers in here to make it charge faster you can charge this in four to five hours versus uh eight to nine hours with a single charger this has an 18.2 amp hour, 52 volt, 946 watt hour lithium ion battery. Um, what I like about this, it has a taller stem for us taller riders. I'm six foot tall and it's nice to have the taller thing. Also, I love these rubber grips that it has here. Um, you can actually place your finger in there and these are very comfortable. It keeps you very stable on this scooter, which you really needed on these e-scooters, man. I'll tell you, the first thing you need to do when you get this scooter is make sure it has the full power setting. Just hold the power and mode button together at the same time until it takes you into the program mode. And then go to P08, which mine is already set at 100, but if yours isn't, crank it up using the mold button until you get to 100 for full power i like full balls to the wall power on this um it has a, a trigger throttle here it has hydraulic front and rear brakes with abs um also it has a 10 inch pneumatic tires but these are tubed these have inner tubes um, the newer version has the tubeless, which I like tubeless much better because if you get a flat on this, you'll be walking the scooter, man. So let me get on this scooter, put it to the test. We'll t do some off-road applications, um, do top speed. I'll ride it up a steep hill, and we'll, we'll see what this can do. Whoa! <laughs> man, this thing peels out as soon as you get that throttle, boy. Woo! <laughs> Oh man, this thing cooks right off the jump, guys. Woo! I'm actually going too fast on this street. It's 25 miles an hour. I hope that's not a cop up there, man. <laughs> Give me a ticket on my e scooter, dude. <laughs> cool thing is, you keep up with traffic with this thing, man. Check it out. Bam! Oh my goodness. Oh man, I tell you, this, uh, this suspension really soaks up these bumps and we got a lot of bumps out here in cleveland ohio i'll tell you that and by the way it does have this double thing here clamp here to keep the stem in place um, which i like better than those single ones because those single ones get loose i don't even know if i'm actually supposed to be riding this thing out here on the street oh man this thing cooks though boy Woo! oh man thing is awesome check it out 34 35 35 sticking on 35 35 36 that's it guys 36 so no 40 miles an hour okay we're gonna go down this steep hill now um and i'm gonna come back up we're gonna test the brakes here these are hydraulic brakes okay i tell you you know deep for these to be hydraulic brakes they are a bit soft but i probably need to adjust them uh, let me see here. Just the one brake's a bit softer. The front brake's a bit softer than the rear. I'm telling you, man, these e-scooters are kind of frightening to me, man. Especially after crashing on them two times. <laughs> you can endo real easy on these suckers, man. So you got to be careful the terrain you're on. 
Um, you don't want to be care be very careful riding off road on these things, guys. Seriously, um, I don't see how some of you guys don't wear any gear at all. Yeah, suspension. Even though I tighten it up a bit, suspension is a little bit softer it, um, than the other scooter I have. Um, but like I said, it soaks up the bumps, which I like. So let's go ahead and now go up this steep hill, and let's see if it'll do it. I suspect it will, because this thing is pretty powerful, man. But honestly, this doesn't go any faster than my other scooter that has styles and watt front and rear motors on it. It may be feel it feels a little quicker off the line though. Like it's got more torque. Okay. Yeah, it's going up here, no problem. This is a really steep hill, guys. You can't really tell by the video, but it is. It's one of the steepest hills around here. Um took it no problem. Now I'm going to go ahead and take it down for some off-road action, guys. Okay. Uh, this is where I took the other scooter on. Um, I'll tell you, right off the jump, there is mud here, so i got to be very, very careful, man. you got to be almost ready to crash on these things, guys. Be very careful riding these suckers, man. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really care for this trigger throttle at all, man. Um, not up top like this because it's easy to when you let go and hit the brake to oh that's rough boy and this suspension is soaking up the bumps and everything i don't want to ride no horse manure look at all that guys look at all that mud i'm not trying to get any mud up in here on this e-scooter have a real effed up day up in here you know they're getting go on this sucker and they're looking at me like dude grow up <laughs> and get a car you should be riding on a little electric scooter out here dude you grown man looking like a, a buster scrub <laughs> this is my mode of transportation baby <laughs> i'm telling you this is cheap transportation too man because i you know i charge this up with my my van my solar power let's get guy. back on the road yeah just crank that throttle boom take off <laughs> it just goes boy Woo! oh that power is nice and this is the perfect place here in our metro park system to ride the speed limit is 30 so i actually got to be careful even though this thing i've only got it up to 36 they say you can get a 40 mile range on this but i only can get about about half that man about 20 but i'm ripping on it all the time if you put it in eco mode, you can get the, the 40 supposedly, but I don't want to be bored to death in the eco mode, man. I'm telling you, I don't even feel comfortable doing 35 on these things, man, to be honest with you. <laughs> I crashed at 35 on this thing on my other scooter, guys, which I didn't get the video for. But man, it was frightening. It torqued my ankle really bad, man. I didn't luckily didn't have to go to the hospital. Lucky I got my, my dual sport boots on, but you get some nice twisties here, man. You gotta be careful. I can't go too fast on here. Cause uh you got pedestrians. Hey, but it's got that bell. Man, this bell. Hey, the bell stopped working, man. <laughs> yeah. Electric scooter, baby. Varla, Eagle One. Looking like a straight fool, baby. Just how I like it. Yeah. Let's see if we can get up this hill. Take the same time. Go. Come on. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there! Get up there! Yeah! Oh shit! This does have dual LED lights, by the way, front and rear. That kind of that lights up at night really well, but it still needs a headlight. I tell you, this thing is fun, man. It's fun, but they, I think quality control needs to be better on this. All right, back at the bug out moto van here, dude. By the way, this e-scooter does have an eco turbo button and a single dual motor switch button here, um, which I'm going to go ahead and try. The eco uh, mode, you suppose you can get the best range, which suppose you can get up to 40 miles. Like I said, I got a mix of about 20, uh, just ripping on this thing constantly. Um, uh, so yeah, I, I didn't get the full range effect, but I didn't put it on eco either. So let's go ahead and put this on a single motor. Oh yeah, there's a big difference. It's, this is very tame with the single motor for sure yeah it doesn't rip okay now put it back to dual i wish it would light up to let you know which one it's on man or put on the screen here now let's go ahead and do the eco I 
So the eco mode, yeah, is very docile. Put it back on turbo. Turbo, baby. Yeah, got that peel out action. Boom. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, the eco, eco mode is good for probably like downtown, you know, like commuting, uh, you know, in the urban area, downtown on the sidewalk where you can't really rip on it and you want to save on the battery power. The eco mode would be great. Um, but if you really want to rip on it, man, yeah, don't mess with the eco mode, man. I'll tell you, there's some things I like about it. Uh, I like the nice wide deck. I like you can change the grip tape. I like the higher bars on it. Um, <clears throat> the get up and go, like I said. But some cons that I don't like with this. Some suspension, like I said, is a bit soft, but it, it rolls over all the, the bumps, no problem. There's one thing I'll tell you I don't like is this little kickstand, man, because sometimes it comes down. And I was expecting a lot better uh, braking power than the mechanical brakes on the high boy scooter. Um, but they're adequate, but maybe I need to do some adjustment. I did crash on it, but that's my fault because I was, <laughs> you know, uh, messing around in the mud, you know, muddy grass. That was really stupid. I like these grips here. Um, I like the dual clamp here uh, is really nice. Overall, I would have to say this is a, it's a pretty cool scoop for the price you get, the power you get. Um, the range is, is not what they're saying at 40 miles, but, you know, 20 miles is fine doing, you know, uh, if you're just cruising around and then rip it here and there like I did, messing around off-road. Um, still, 20 miles is pretty good, man, but the new 2.0 version probably has better. Uh, they've improved it, you know, in a lot of different areas. Like I said, I have a link to the 2.0 version as well, and you can get a big discount, by the way. A uh, special link to for my viewers exclusively in the description and comment section of this video. Um, overall, I have to say, this is a really, really fun uh, electric scooter, man. And for those of you guys that want to hate on these electric scooters, you, you've never ridden one because these things are very fun, guys. They are very fun, and they will save you money commuting to work. I'll tell you that. Because you can get a bug out motor van or you can get a solar charging state. I have, by the way, I have a solar charger um, that is portable. And the link in the description and comment section of this video that I actually use also with my electric scooter and e-bikes. So I don't even have to use my van. I can use the portable deal. Um, and that's free power. Yeah, guys. Um, when you go to put this away here, um, remove these clamps here. Slide this up here. And then this folds down here. This doesn't have a latch, but I think you can add one as an accessory. But all you do is just pick it up here and here. Make sure to bend your knees, because this is 80 pounds, by the way. So it's got some weight to it. And just roll it up right up here in the ride. But anyways, hit thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my new videos release. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Till next time. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.